hi everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new i hope you're all doing well in today's video i'm going to be doing a cash unstuffing for the second week of december so we are going to be going over our expenses and also unstuffing a few of our sinking funds a few of our cash envelopes and going over all of the expenses transactions that we made throughout this past week um this is the second unstuffing of the week but my first unstuffing was pretty late so today is wednesday the 14th and i'm pretty much trying to catch up and i'm trying to be consistent so hopefully you guys don't mind that you know another unstuffing really i am trying to have a video up every day this week and let's see how i do so far so good so i'm going to be going over all of our expenses and placing stickers in my planner so let's go ahead and do that and then after that we are going to be unstuffing all of our expenses and um i will leave timestamps like always just in case you want to skip ahead because you don't want to hear me ramble so let's go ahead and get into that i'm going to be going over all of the spending from the 7th to the 13th i like to track our spending from the day of payday all the way up until the day before the following payday which so happens to be today today's wednesday the 14th so let me go ahead and get started on wednesday the 7th it was a no spend day so let me check which one should i put okay i'm gonna go ahead and grab this one here i do have no spend stickers but i'm trying to use some of these stickers up i have too many so there we go that's a no spend day and then on thursday the 8th there was a couple transactions first transaction i went to mcdonald's and spent 35 dollars we're going to be taking that out of takeout we've been doing pretty good about not eating out too much which i'm going to contradict myself on friday but after that we haven't been eating out so um on the 8th we also i pumped gas so i spent $54 in gas that of course is going to be coming out of the gas envelope and I noticed I always um fill up at the grocery store gas station it's the closest and then I don't know if you guys have a food for less where you live um but if you do buy groceries at the grocery store which happens to be food for less they do give you um like I guess like cents off the gallon in their um gas station so most of the time that i pump gas um i will get 10 cents off of each gallon so i mean that's a little bit of money saved every time i pump um, gas that's also why i like to go to food for less so and then the last transaction it was a online transaction out of our sinking funds i spent 52 dollars from the christmas sinking fund i bought a sweater for the gift exchange um we're gonna have a gift exchange amongst um our the family so uh you know everybody gets a present to unwrap that day besides the tamales that we're gonna be having so <laughs> um that's it for the eighth on the ninth there was two transactions and like i said we also ate out 42 dollars at chipotle brian was craving it we hadn't we haven't had it in probably over a year when I first discovered it, I used to eat it so much because I like the the bowl, um, the chicken bowl, but we haven't ate it in so long. So we picked some up for $42 that's coming out of takeout. And then I also went to the grocery store, how funny is that, and spent $303 at the grocery store. I don't know why that always happens. If you don't eat before you go to the grocery store you end up just buying food out right so that's it for friday the 9th on the 10th there was only actually i'm lying this one is for saturday the grocery store was for saturday so i guess i didn't eat out i mean i didn't go to the grocery store the same day and then there's one more transaction for here so um brian went to home depot because it was raining a couple days or it was going to rain the weekend and i have mentioned in a previous video so he spent 42 dollars at home depot so i mentioned in a previous video that 
we do need to replace the outside door from the garage that connects into you know the outside to the garage because um my dog molly she has chewed around the trimming and water is able to seep through because she also chewed the um you know the insulation part anyway so he ended up replacing that and just kind of filled where she had been chewing on it we still have to replace that whole that whole thing but just kind of like a quick fix so he did pick some supplies up for that and then he brought us like chocolate and stuff so that was 42 dollars for that um 12 of those dollars is going to come out of our uh, miscellaneous sinking fund and the rest out of home maintenance so that's it for friday and then saturday it was only the grocery store purchase on sunday the 11th we have a few transactions and they're all going to be from sinking funds i made an online purchase for 34 dollars for target at target and that's for christmas i've just been making a whole bunch of online purchases and pick up because i don't want to go into target and you know stare at the stare at the red eye and come out of there like 300 dollars of other stuff and then I also spent $130 on Amazon, and that was for more presents. That's going to come out of Christmas. And what else? I made one transaction at a website called Culture Kings for $211. I am going to be taking some of this out of Christmas and of my personal stinking fund. Um, that I have in one of my binders because I didn't have enough for Brian's present so I'm going to be covering it with my personal sinking fund and I believe there's only one transaction left so there is a Kohl's transaction for $36 I went to return something that I purchased from Amazon and you know they always give you $5 Kohl's cash so I ended up buying my daughter this really really cute a bracelet she loves jewelry every time we go anywhere and there's a jewelry store that's what she goes directly to so yeah we're gonna have a lot of trouble with that girl because <laughs> we are not like jewelry people but she's three years old and she is already all about the bling and the sparkle so i ended up buying her a little bracelet and then i did purchase something else for the gift exchange but i'm gonna end up returning that because um it's too small so i'm gonna return it get my money back and i already did purchase something else i'm pretty much just gonna adjust the difference whenever i go over that expense but i will let you guys know about that the next time that i go over that so that's it for the 11th i believe yeah so on the 12th there was a few more transactions i ended up making another transaction on culture kings and that was 131 dollars by the way, this website is for like um, sports fashion, but it's not just like, it's mainly like hoodies and t-shirts and stuff like that. I don't think they're partnered with like the NFL, but it is really, really nice stuff. It is kind of pricey, but it is very nicely made. So that was $131. That is for um, my stepson Isaiah's birthday gift. Brian chose this really nice sweater for him so that is coming out of the birthday sinking fund we weren't expecting to spend that much but you know it's his birthday he's gonna be 17 and i know he's gonna love that sweater so that was 131 there and i'm also accounting for some cash uh christmas presents so my niece jade we're gonna give her 50 dollars in cash i haven't taken it out but i will take it out today and then just add it to to the Christmas card and I'm also accounting for the bonus, the um, our landscaper and pool guy, um, the $50 for each. I'm accounting for it today. So that's $100 together. And my son is waking up to get ready for school. And then the last thing for um, Monday was I made another purchase on Amazon for $35. I'm getting an album and I purchased some picture paper because we're also going to be making a um, an album for for Isaiah's birthday. He's very like into pictures and videos when he was a kid. He loves to see stuff like that. So um, that was actually Brian's idea to make him a little album. So we do have to work on that. 
and that was $35 for that. That's also com gonna come out of birthdays. My voice got a lot lower because I still get embarrassed even though my son knows that I make these videos. We're done for Monday. On Tuesday, I have a couple of transactions. So I did cash up one of the giveaway winners from last week's giveaway. I talked about it in yesterday's video. I'll link it here if you haven't watched that video because I do have another giveaway going on. So go ahead and check that out. So that was $10. She did choose Cash App, so I sent her that. Hi, Leslie. <laughs> and then I still haven't given the $25 giveaway winner her prize, Joanna. So if you see this video, contact me. I completely forgot, but I did reach out to you today. So I, but I am accounting for it for yesterday just so I can have it ready to go and then I can, you know, send her a gift card or cash app. So that was $25. And that's pretty much it for all of our spending for the second week of December. Now let's go ahead and get onto the cash on stuffing. All right, guys, let me go over the spending tracker really quick. So for this week, we are going to be cashing out $1,290. Zero of that is cash. Technically, it's really not zero, but since I am going to be taking $150 out today, um, it's still in the envelopes, even though they are going to go into a couple of um, Christmas cards. So I just put zero, not to confuse myself. So the total spending for this week was $1,290. And as you can see, mostly everything is sinking funds, all these little green hearts. There's only a few transactions out of our cash envelopes and then a couple from my personal sinking funds binder. And um, I don't think I've ever asked, but I wanted to know if you guys watch these videos, do you guys kind of do the same thing as I do, including this back part? I mean, I'm not reinventing the wheel here. It's just, you know, it's kind of my way of tracking my own expenses. And have you pretty much like adopted this way of of doing it let me know in the comments i'm just really really curious to know if you you know do the same thing so anyway um breakdown obviously it's zero and cash expenses we are going to be unstuffing 446 dollars today out of here and out of our sinking funds 809 dollars and out of my personal sinking funds 35 dollars so that's pretty much going to be it for all of the totals i will go over every single one as i unstuff and then one no spend day for the week so let me put this here and let's go ahead and start with our cash envelopes i do have ten dollars in change i'm just trying to be prepared not so many bumps in the road so gas we are going to be unstuffing 54 dollars. so i have 60 here Mm. you know what let me go back to gas just get a little bit more change first and in miscellaneous twelve dollars so i have 15 and i'm gonna be getting three dollars back one two three so we have three dollars left here and now we can go back to gas so we said 54, we have 60. And I have to get six back. So now we have 26 left. Let me check these off. In pets, nothing for the week. Beauty, also nothing for the week. Although this weekend we're probably gonna get a few care cuts. Um, kids, nothing as well and personal actually giving i mean i don't unstuff giving so um personal nothing i haven't spent anything take out 77 dollars out of here so we have 75 i'm gonna have to come out with two dollars from somewhere and i think i'm just gonna take it from miscellaneous so let's go back to miscellaneous and Take two dollars out of here, and that'll cover takeout. Let me go ahead and update the tracker. And today is the fourteenth, so I'm just gonna put um, takeout short. 
minus two, and now there's one dollar left. You don't have to do this. This is just this is just me being extra and I enjoy doing these things. So taking that little extra step. Um I don't mind it at all. And I'm just gonna add that this was covered. Plus two, so now we're at zero. I did I had it at a negative two dollars, so now there it is back to zero. We're done here. Groceries three hundred and three dollars. It's pretty much everything. Three hundred and five. So let me give is it two dollars back? We have two dollars left here. And out of household, nothing. Although I did make a Sam's Club online of, for pickup today. So um, for next week's cash unstuffing, um, this is pretty much going to be empty. But since today is a new day that I'm starting the week, since it is payday, I won't account for that transaction until the following um, cash unstuffing. But I already have it in my notes in my, my notes app. And that is pretty much it for cash envelopes. And now let's go into our sinking funds, home maintenance. We're gonna take $30 out of here. So let's take 30 here. And now we have 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 2,000, 2,000, 1, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 270, 275, 276, 2,276 dollars left there. Out of Christmas, we are going to take out 567. Let me see. Here it is. So I do have this $500 prop bill. I am going to be taking it out. And I'm also going to take $67 cash. So let me get, get rid of some of these fives. I'm going to do 20 and fives. 67. Why did I make that so complicated? I don't know. We should have 567. So let me count this. 500, 520, 540, 550, 560, 567. So this does represent $500 that we have in a, a bucket in our um, Ally High Yield Savings account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer that $500 into our just regular checking account. And then I'm able to pay the um, credit card with that money. So let me place this all the way back here and then the $150 that I need for the Christmas cash for my niece and you know our landscaper and pool guy I had to take a quick break my daughter woke up screaming and I got so scared but um, I guess she slept wrong and her neck was in an awkward position so her neck is a little bit sore but um, she feels a little bit better now so let me go ahead. I don't even remember where I was. I think, um, oh, I think I was mentioning about um, using some of this cash for the uh, Christmas cash presents. So let me go ahead and count what we have left. 100, 150, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 285, 290, 295, 301, 2, 3, 4, 5. 305 dollars left in Christmas. I think we are going to have to budget just a little bit more because I still haven't purchased any presents or a present for my mom, my dad, um, my dad's wife. Uh, Brian still has to get his mom a present. So it's probably going to be a little bit more than what's in here. I'm trying to keep it under budget, but um, we'll see. I think we have quite a bit to, uh, money to work with for December. So we might be able to spare a hundred dollars or so. So. We are done with Christmas and let me check that off. Birthdays is in this lavender, lavender binder here. And 
you have to take $166 out of here. 120, 40, 60, 566, 120, 40, 60, 5, 6, okay. And that is for Isaiah's sweater. It's like this really, really nice sweater. I'll try to post a picture. I'll put it here in this corner. But like I said, it is kind of pricey, but it's okay. Um, so now there's 20, 40, 60, 85, 86. And then I am going to end up having like a little family gathering here on Saturday for Brian and Isaiah's birthday. And um, I think I'm going to, I don't want to cook, honestly. <laughs> I'm already hosting, so I don't really want to cook. Um, so I'm probably going to end up getting some uh, fried chicken from Winko. Do you guys have a Winko wherever you live? And have you ever tried their um, chicken? It is so, so good. And everybody loves it. So I'm going that route. But I am budgeting an additional, um, I think, $250 to cover some of those like birthday expense. And that is going to come out. I will be sharing that in tomorrow's cash stuffing video if i don't have it out tomorrow it'll be out on friday so we're done here and now let me go into my personal um into this binder here i have a savings back here it isn't for just like long-term savings it's this is for short term for my kids it is long term long term but for me and brian it's like short term if we want to buy ourselves something or each other so I have $50, I have to t get $4 back. One, two, three, four. So now there is, let me get nicer dollar bills. One, two, three, four. Okay. So, and let me get a nicer five. So now there's five, six, seven, eight, nine left in my envelope it started off at 309 but then i got myself a cricket which i already received it but guess what i haven't even opened it it's been sitting in the box for like a couple of days i've just been having to do other things wrapping presents just you know everything just seems to accumulate on me um so i still have to open that up and play with it i have no idea what i'm doing but we'll we'll see We'll see what I come up with. You might be seeing new envelopes or something. I don't know. And then for my personal sinking funds binder, I'm going to go into the gifts envelope. And where is it? Okay, so this is for giveaways. I just have it under gifts. And so that's $35. So I need to get a 10 and a 5 back. Let me see if there's nicer 5s. Nah, these are all... Oh, this one's okay. Okay, so now we have $65 left. This is also going to cover the, give, the giveaway I have currently. And I am going to need to take some extra money. I think I'm going to get it out of YouTube. Because it is a $100 giveaway. Well, 50 and then two winners will be getting 25 So um, I'm going to be short a little bit. But I can... There's somewhere to take it from is what I'm trying to say. So we are done here. Now we're going to go ahead and count the money. We should have the $12.90. Let me take one, two, three, four, five. And then an additional five. This is the $10 I had in change. So we should have... Twelve ninety. So we have 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 900, 50, 100, 50, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 140, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, plus 50. So yes, we have the $1,290. I will make sure to pay my credit card for all of these transactions and then we will start fresh for tomorrow's cash stuffing and so on so that's going to be it for this video you guys if you made it up until this point thank you hi <laughs> 
how old are you now because it's probably a super long video um go ahead and leave me a a coffee cup emoji i'm just looking at the sticker here so leave me a coffee cup in the comments if you made it this far and as always i hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day or night see you next time bye